Okay, so we've come all the way from Bangkok to the Orchid Pool Villa Resort. This is the resort we've been staying at for this last three days, doing the filming, great location. I want to take you inside to show you how good or how bad it may be, depending on your views. So if we go inside this place, have a look at the facilities, have a look at some rooms, get a general idea on the disabled side of it. Is it safe, is it unsafe? Um, it's a beautiful place, as you can see from the outside. What an amazing start to the, I hope, not a disappointment to some people. So as we make our way in, the entrance is a nice slope so you can get in pretty easy in a wheelchair. Is that where it all stops though? Let's find out. So the first thing you notice when you get into this place is the amazing, amazing pool. Colan hasn't got many of these and this one's a nice size one. Lots of ambience is probably a nice word to use, right? Ambient atmosphere, got some shade for the people that don't like the sun. Um, I've swum in this pool many times with my kids. We've even done documentary here. The reason why I use this place is it's incredibly friendly, incredibly fun. The staff here are amazing, we've become pretty good friends. Um, but this is not about a friendship, this is a review. I'm not afraid to say what I want to say. Let's have a look here, we've got some safety rails, this is impressive, really important. You know, being disabled, it's quite important to be safe, right? The miniature pool is like a children's pool, if you like. It's not very deep and I've sat there many times and because I don't wear prosthetics in the swimming pool, it's been proved to be okay for me. Um, I go from these seats here, so I take my legs off on this seat, which means it's okay for disabled. Um, though I do want to point out there's a big step here. And ideally, in, a, in, a, in an ideal world, you'd have another grab rail here to help you get up. If you're, say for an example, if you're a trial amputee, you've got two, two legs missing on one arm and your left arm is missing, you'd have the right hand you can still use but we're not going to put that against them because they've got an amazing pool and as you can see it's incredibly clean. They go out every morning cleaning this and because it's not surrounded by trees too much there's not many insects in there too which I've found can be quite soupy in some locations. So I'll give the pool, a, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It's nice but it's not the safest. Not because it's a bad pool but you need a grab rail for a disability so the only failure is it needs a grab rail. But as far as I'm concerned, it's very clean, very friendly, child friendly, so seven out of 10 on that. Um, as you go through, it's a grip floor, it's not too slippery, so you'd definitely be okay. The wheelchair, nice and smooth. Um, they've got pool rules, they tell you what's going on in the pool, which is very important. You know, safety is paramount. By the way, all these bikes here are for hire. You can hire any of these bikes. Um, I believe the daily rate is 300 baht, so it's not expensive to, you know, and as an amputee, I can ride. I know that some people can't, but they do have a delivery service, um, a trike, like a trailer, three-wheeler, side cart. Uh, you can use that facility. They'll take you where you want to go, and they have a truck too. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you into my room in a minute, but I thought what we'd do is get an idea of how hard it is or how difficult it'd be for a disabled person to use the rooms. And as you can see, everyone has got Mount Everest. Ideally, a place like this would have some sort of ramp. Um, they've got good grub rails, so we can give them a mark for that. Um, however, every single room has a step, every single one. Even inside the rooms, they have steps. Now, remember, I'm doing this as a disabled person, trying to promote disabled people, so I don't want to do this the wrong way. Um, this is not to insult the owners of this place. All it is about trying to open the eyes to the fact you can have more travellers here. If they was to add grab rails, they would actually get about 50% more of the disabled traveller. Older generations can travel. Um, people like myself that can't walk as well. Obviously wheelchairs almost completely wiped out of this, unfortunately. Um, but not everybody's disabled that way. So we must remember the word disabled does not mean wheelchair. It's just somebody that's more impaired than another person. But what I do like about this place is you can't hear much, can you? The sound is pretty good. It's quite quiet. We've got a person in the distance with their loudspeaker, which really defies what I'm just saying. But genuinely, this place is really quiet, so you are gonna have a really nice family holiday. And remember, disabled travel. Disabled can travel too. This place allows you to travel. It allows you to relax. It's got a swimming pool. Your children can have fun. If they could just add a grab rail, just one grab rail per room, what a difference that would make. So I think what we should do, we should go ask the owner why. 
Why are they not putting anything for, in for a disabled person? Because they can get more of you guys to come and visit. And like I said, this isn't a travel show for the normal person. This is a travel show to help people understand that being disabled shouldn't be torture, it shouldn't be a problem. And if we can get some of these people that we're visiting to understand that it's not about expenditure, it's about bringing it all together because the outlay is so small. One grab roll to be fitted would only be about 2,000 baht, but one night in that room would have paid for it. So let's go ask them why. I mean, I do want to point out, remember this isn't to insult them, this is not to insult anybody. Um, I'm not trying to expose anybody and say that you don't care because I stay here, I stay here a lot. This, the reason why I'm doing the review here is because these guys are fantastic, but disabled people should be able to travel. And we'd really like to get this sorted for you guys to enjoy holidays more than you should do. Let's go and see what they got to say, come on. I need your business card. I don't have it. Yes. Thank you. This is my business card. Is it yours? Go buy it. <laughs> okay, so um, yes. obviously you've stayed here before. I've stayed here many times. Yes. And you know I come back because I like I it. I know. Um, we're doing a show about disabled travel and uh, I come here all the time as a disabled person. Do you get many disabled guests? Honestly. Wheelchair. Wheelchair? No, we so, don't have it. I, yeah. I know that. I know that because of me being here. Um, people like me, amputees, you get some? Not yes, me, yeah? yes, many times. Uh, how do they find it? Have they ever asked you any questions about your place? Mm, they, they don't have any question because it's, they are a Thai yeah. and they are, oh no, it's, it's uh, almost, the, almost the place on the islands. They yeah. have a non, not No uh, disabled. Yeah, it's not disabled. Right, well, we've been trying to find a way to help people um, especially places as good as this um, to get more customers get more guests because it seems that everywhere on this island there's nothing that will help a disabled person if I give you some ideas would you think about them yes one thing we found when we walked through here was there's nothing for somebody that is very old or cannot walk very well to hold on to, yeah. especially in the bedroom. Do you know that if you put one grab rail, just a rail by the toilet or you know by the doorway mm -hmm. of the toilet, you're going to allow somebody to use that so much more comfortably and you can genuinely say that you can help disabled yeah. people to stay here. Yeah. You would be the first person on the island that's maybe 50% more chances of getting hits. Your room price is fantastic. I'm, yes. I know why I pay here. Um, yeah. That's between me and this lady what we pay. It's nothing about promotion. Um, so basically, if you was to pay 2,000 baht to have, a, have one grab rail put in one room only, the occupancy rate would go up mm -hmm. because you can say disabled travel is a, is a possibility. Just yeah. one 2,000 baht bill and the return would be Every, every week, every two weeks, because someone disabled can rent the room. Mm -hmm. Would you ever think about doing that? Yeah, I have to think about it. I had to tell my uh, my owner, yeah. my own owner the hotel. Yeah. I, I never talked to her yet. Yeah. I think if I if I present mm -hmm. the problem, this problem, yeah. I think she will fix it about this. It'd be big. Yes. You know, I think it's a big problem with... It's with the whole of Kolan. It's, yeah. it's a big problem with the whole of Kolan. Yeah. But I come to you for this reason because this is the one place that I come to the island and my entire family is incredibly happy. I love coming here. Your rooms yeah. are amazing. They're clean. Yeah. Um, as a foreigner, a foreign, yeah. when we travel, the first thing we look for is what suits us. Now. I've been to so many places that tell me it's disabled friendly and it's an absolute lie. Mm -hmm. And we started this program because of a very good friend of mine, Lucy Papas. Um, so this is a shout out to you, my sweetie. Um, she's almost blind mm -hmm. and she has to use a wheelchair. And she was, had a honeymoon in Thailand and she was 
told and paid a lot of extra money yes. that she could travel to many places and not one location. It was the worst holiday she ever had and she made a really big show about it and told how bad Thailand is. And yes, it's awesome. so sad because I know the truth. Thailand isn't bad. It's an amazing place. But Thais don't accept disabled very well. Yes, because I think almost the hotel in Thailand is not held uh, as... Uh, disabled. Uh, yeah. People like... Impaired. Uh, impaired. Yeah, in blind. Yeah. And a wheelchair. Exactly. They almost know. They almost know the room for... It's always yeah. five star that mm -hmm. do do it. And prices most normal travelers out. This place is why I come here and why I want to talk to you because you have the best facilities on the island. I think this swimming pool is bigger than the other swimming pools. Yeah. It's a lot cleaner. Uh, my room, you know, you always good me, always have a good room. And um, obviously you know me from flying, you know me from doing the TV stuff. And I came to you for this reason. Uh, and I want to help you to maybe get you more customers. Mm -hmm. But by the way, if I book, it means I still get priority. Yeah, but but I uh, you have to talk to me on, on the last time, right? Yeah. And I I think and I tell my owner, yeah. but he uh, she tried to fix uh, she tried to build mm -hmm. build another one mm -hmm. another place to mm -hmm. the hotel. Yeah. That I think she's forgot about this problem. Yeah. I think is maybe next time you came here. Yeah. Everything it changed. Okay. I will have a grab, right? A yeah, grab. Yeah. One a grab, grab row. One. Uh -huh. Just one room, yeah, you, and then you've got an occupancy rate that no one has. Yes, but I, I'll, I'll, if you're, I remember you. Mm. Uh, if they ha we, if we have uh, a old, mm -hmm. old people, yep. maybe a blind, yep. or about the wheelchair, yep. I will change. I can fix the problem by only one, only one way is to change the room. Yeah. Yes. But you know that like for a wheelchair user, you can actually have um, a ramp, a wheeled ramp yeah. made where you can actually keep the ramp away from the room. And when you have that guest, they can have the, wheel, the ramp mm -hmm. wheeled to that room. So it's not a permanent thing. It's made of, um, it's called grip metal. So it's a very straightforward metal with two wheels that creates a ramp. And then you just move it when you don't need it. You but don't I never, it. I never seen this experience before. Uh, no. I will send it to you. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it for introducing me. And I never uh, get experience like uh, have a wheelchair exactly. guys here. And that, yeah. See, that's, the, that's exactly my point. You've not mm -hmm. had it. This is why you don't have it. You can't have it. You can't have a wheelchair here. And I say, I want to point out, I'm. I'm I said to her before we interviewed on this, I said I would be strong, I would talk strong, but it's not because I want to be rude. Um, I've got massive respect for her, that's why we're here. Um, these guys are very accommodating, they've been great with me, my family. My son has Down syndrome, my little baby. Yes, Down I, li yeah. I remember. Um, but I won't change this, this, I'll always come to this place, regardless if they make the changes or not, because they are accommodating, they're very helpful. Um, and this is not to attack in any way, so just want to point out, I'm talking to her to explain that there is more chance of more customers and more customers is not just good for here, it's good for the Thai economy, it's good for Kuala Lan, and it's another thing that, it's like the big balloon, the big picture. We don't just look at what we're talking about, you know, it's not just about you, it is yes. about Kuala Lan. Uh, I if, know. You, if you have one guest, they go buy food from one more person. That's another customer for them too. Mm. You know, so it's cool. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, you're always amazing, and uh, we love staying here. It's now, I think, my fifth or sixth time, and uh, I'll be back. For yeah, sure. for sure. Thank I you. Know. Thank you for letting me attack you. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, it's not personal, but it really is to try and help inspire other people. Yeah. And. Uh, I never forget. Uh, uh, your name? Ada. Ada. My name is Ada. Ada. I think it's, 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 it's a story you talk. It's, it's a problem with in, in the islands, in yes. these islands. I never seen uh, the wheelchair people on yeah. the. Uh, how to call it? Yeah, it's just fine. Uh, yeah. I, I never, I never Disabled. seen. Disabled. Uh, I never seen the people uh, on the wheelchair here because it's 
it's the islands, you know. Yeah. When, when you came here, you must be uh, on a ship. Yeah. That's why it's a problem. But everything starts with, with mm -hmm. open mind. Mm -hmm. yeah. everywhere, yeah, everywhere in the world, everything, every little thing in the world starts from an idea. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. So if somebody can get help onto the boat, they will come to your island. And they do offer the help, so it can yeah. happen. I have a good line of the owner of the hotel. Mm -hmm. I can uh, inform inform the, this this information mm -hmm. to uh, to the this group line yeah, yeah. for fix it on the islands for uh, for the people on the wheelchair on the uh, for a blind people. Yeah. Yes, I, I can fix this. The good thing is, I mean, honestly, I try. Yeah, you, I try to you fix can try. this. Yeah, yes, I, I try. Just just a voice, one voice mm -hmm. can make a big difference. Yes, you know, some some people haven't got a voice. Disabled yes. generally don't have a voice, yeah. which is why we're doing this. But I look at you on, on the first time. I'm so amazing about you. You can walk, you can run. But the one thing he has talked to me about the 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 role, the Gabriel. Uh, the Gabriel. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, you're as amazing people. We I, can, I we, see. No, we can make it happen. Um, mm -hmm. And I say, it's, it's not about me for this whole thing, it's about yeah. the others. It's about Kolan. Yeah. It's actually about everywhere in Thailand that takes tourists. Yeah. You know, there's a chance you can get more I money. think I can make it happen in soon. Yeah. Yeah. But it's about, I have to take a time, <laughs> I think. You have time. Yeah. It's not a race. Doing it right is perfect. Yeah. Just one rail per hotel will save a lot yeah. of people. Yeah. And a lot more money for people. I think if you have a gap role, I maybe you have a safe of the old the old people. Exactly. Yeah. You know, if you look at Thailand, one thing that is a hundred percent everywhere, you have these amazing shiny floors. When they're wet, we fall over. Yeah. Especially with no legs. It's yeah. very painful. <laughs> I cannot walk on them. But they're always pretty. So I'm gonna leave you alone. I don't want to take any more of your time up. Okay. Um you're a star. Thank you for letting me talk to you. Yes. And as always, I'm keeping your card because uh, we're going to promote you. Yeah. And uh, in case you wanted to be Orchid, well worth a visit. Be yeah. Orchid. You can find them on uh, Agoda Facebook. and on Facebook. Agoda and Facebook. Yeah. And thank you. And yeah. I'm so, I appreciate you for introducing no me about this problem. Yeah. I think I try to fix it. Let's I. See what we can do. Um, I You're speechless. That. It's like, <laughs> You're speechless. <laughs> yeah, I, I try to gonna make it happen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yes. All right. I'm gonna leave you guys, and uh, we give that a wrap. Everybody, thank you so much. Thank you, Ada. Yeah. And thank you. We gotta go get our boat, haven't we? Oh, back on the boat. That hurts so much. <laughs> today is too hot today. The highway. Yes. Yeah, it's very hot you know. today. Yeah. Okay, okay, everybody. Let's check it out. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thank Take you. Bye, bye. See you later. Take care. I am so sorry. <laughs> Grab rail. Look, see, that's grab rail. My fault. That's definitely a cut. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Uh, Take care. Bye bye.